hello welcome to another video with the notorious snangai so i wanted to do this in the starting of the video so you can look at my outfit and relate to the to the makeup right so how are you doing how's your how's your day going fine so let's get started today i'm going to give you a tutorial um on smoky look brown smoky of course so i'll go in detail about how i am actually creating the smoky eyes now my face must be uh looking a bit oily that is just about the serum to, uh, which i used today this is a gold elixir serum from earthy by alenza so instead of a moisturizer i just gone with this this moisturizes your skin pretty well and uh, uh, i thought for a dewy finish i thought i i should actually use this to get that dewy glowy look i <laughs> let me just jump into it so here I am using the same foundation from Maybelline New York in the shade Toffee which I used in the last tutorial. I'll be leaving the product details in the description box anyway guys for you to check it later. So let's just blend it well. You know how much I stress on blending so do it. I'm using a blender this time to give a skin-like finish and I love the sheer finish which a blender gives. I don't go with full coverage mostly. Always do your favorite thing with a smile on your face guys. Just like so. <laughs> dun dun dun. Oof these leaves. It's concealer time. I'm using a small blender for concealing. I bought this blender from Miniso but I didn't expect this to be good. I'm surprised. So this concealer is again from Maybelline New York in the shade Honey. Blend it well guys. Just like so. And here's my favorite contouring step. I'm using almost the same products which I used in the last video. Now I'm just going to follow it up with nose contouring which is really important to define your nose. And I'm just contouring my sides of my eyes to give and create an illusion of a lifted face. Try it, you'll definitely love it. Now I'm just setting all these with a setting spray. I blend them out because I want the products to be fused with one another like mm, contour, concealer or foundation. You know, they should not stand alone. Let's just fuse everything by blending. Now, when the base is perfectly done, you know what to do. You have to prevent them from creasing. So here, I am using the loose powder from Maybelline. I'm just applying them wherever it is necessary. And then I'm just moving on to the eye makeup. I'm just concealing to create a base for the colors to sit on it. Before getting my hands on the colors, let me fill my eyebrows. I'm just lining them to define and filling in. Now you can actually see the difference between them clearly. Let me just fill in and show you the difference. Yes, it's almost done. See? Ooh, that's pretty. So this is the perfect way to, you know, define it. So I'm just dusting off the powder. This is called baking, guys. Now we are safe from creasing. And once that is done, you should make sure that you're doing the next step. That is, you don't want your eye makeup to crease or look patchy. So let me set it with some powder. Let me grab my palette and some brushes. So this is from Pack, guys. It's called Last Wish. We are going to build it from scratch by using different shades of brown. For base, I'm using a very light brown. So I can use it as a transition shade too. 
blend 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 is your friend so once that is done i'm taking another brush and another brown shade which is slightly on like i can call it wood brown kind of one i'm applying it over my lid and blending along with the base shade make sure that you are actually blending your base color and this you don't want your colors to you know stand alone and picking a generous amount of this color because i want it to be a bit more darker pressing and blending the product and blend blend so once that is done i'm going with even more darker color in the same brown shade and yes giving it a good dense so this is the secret of smoky you are just going to layer it up with with colors can you see that i am actually pressing the product in oh i look pretty i'm going mad i'm going crazy done so i'm almost done and i am actually going to keep it simple with a very small winged liner i'm not going to go you know overboard because my i want my smoky eyes to pop up guys of course make sure that you are blending all the three layers like how many other layers you are using like just make sure that everything is on the same page right so i'm taking a new brush a fresh brush fresh brush to buff it out to create that smoky effect so doing the same on the other side Ta -da! Ta -da! purchased some new lashes from my favorite store in Instagram so let me show you that so this is the one candy baby the struggle is real guys you can see me struggling in all different angles this this and this the struggle is real Super happy that it is fixed all by myself. Now I'm going on with a blush. This is from Mabel in New York. It's called Master Flush Creator. And in the shade Afterglow. So once that is done, I'm going in with my favorite product. Dance, 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 baby, dance. Because it's highlighter time. It's from Adam Beauty. I don't want to talk now really you should just see me enjoying this product So once the blending is done for the highlighter, oh I'm so happy for this. Now I'm going in with the lips and this is from Nykaa, it's called Pillow Fight Lip Liner. I'm just drawing the outline and giving it some definition using the lip pencil. 
I like this shade actually. It's not too much of pink. It's a bit peachy. So nice. And now I'm going with the Lakme 9 to 5 Weightless Matte Color, which is in the shade Rose Touch. As done, I'm just taking some highlighter again to highlight my inner corners. Oh, I'm obsessed with this highlighter. What can I say? I can see me all day with this highlighter on. I love it. I love it. So, I hope you love it. I, I am quite confident about this look. Because eyebrows, the eyes, lip color, earrings, dress, and everything. Because I'm not really perfect in hairdo, but I like to keep it natural. And, all right. So, I hope you like it. Please uh, comment down about your views and your suggestions. How do you like it and everything in the comment section. I'll be expecting a lot of comment, comments for this and likes, shares. Please do support me. Uh, share this video with your friends. Ask them to support me too. Uh, I mean, ask them too to support me. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Lots of love to you and bye-bye from your notorious Nangai. See you in the next video.